Surfshark just got a new feature that will make your VPN experience even better. The bypasser feature has arrived on macOS, and this Surfshark release is completely free. The latest Surfshark news coming right up. Before we start, if you don't have an active Surfshark subscription or you're looking to extend your current one, then click the first link in the description below the video. There you'll find our special coupon code called SharkTube, which will give you three additional months when buying Surfshark. First, let's talk about a super exciting update that will affect all Surfshark VPNs. VPN users. Introducing Surfshark Everlink. Surfshark Everlink is a patented VPN technology created by Surfshark that is completely new in the VPN industry. But to explain what it does, let's first discuss your VPN journey. You open up your VPN app, choose a server or location to connect to, and all is safe and sound. Everything seems good, but with all VPNs, there's always a slim chance that the VPN server you're currently connected to can have a problem. Maybe the server requires maintenance or experiences a network outage, really no VPN server is ever 100% safe from such external factors. And if that ever happens, your VPN usually disconnects and as you can imagine, at that point, your private data becomes exposed, which is the last thing you want when using a VPN in the first place. That's exactly why Surfshark engineers created Everlink. Instead of disconnecting you completely from the VPN and leaving your data exposed, Everlink technology will safely reroute your connection connection to a nearby VPN server without you even noticing that anything ever happened. It's essentially an additional safety net which will keep your data secure in case of a VPN disruption or failure. Best of all, it works across all platforms including Android, iOS, macOS, Windows, and Linux via the Surfshark application. Now you might also be aware that Surfshark and a few other VPNs have a feature called Kill Switch, which literally kills your VPN connection in case your VPN connection suddenly drops. This feature isn't going anywhere and you can still enable it if you'd like. However, the problem with Kill Switch is that it tackles the server disruption problem in a very heavy-handed manner. As in, it will keep you safe, but killing your internet connection is rather hardcore and it can be a hassle to have to manually reconnect your VPN to get back online. Plus, of course, if you are doing any sensitive work during a Kill Switch, you can lose a lot of progress or if you're a gamer, lose an important match due to the loss of the internet. So think of Everlink as a much, much more advanced kill switch that intelligently reroutes your connection in case of a server failure and keeps you safe at all times without the disadvantage of killing your internet altogether. And best of all, it's available today as long as you're using the WireGuard protocol so you can stay calm knowing Everlink has got your back. By the way, before we move on, kill switch is still a good feature to use, especially if you can't, for whatever reason, use the WireGuard protocol, but that's everything you need to know about Everlink. Let's move on. Next up, let's talk about the Bypasser feature coming to your Apple MacBook via the Surfshark app. Bypasser is a feature that can be extremely useful if you ever come across an app or a website that simply doesn't work while you're connected to a VPN. So as the name suggests, Bypasser will allow you to bypass the sites or apps from the VPN connection so they can work. Bypasser on macOS is accessible via settings, VPN settings, and here you can either add a website URL or select an app from a list that you want to bypass. Bypass. By the way, a quick reminder that Bypasser is also available on iOS devices like iPhones and iPads. And actually on iOS specifically, there's now a neat way to quickly add a website to Bypasser by tapping on share and then add to Bypasser. Overall, it's awesome to see that Bypasser is now available on both Apple devices as well as Windows and Android. And it was all thanks to your feedback. On the topic of feedback though, we've received feedback on how you wanted to see more dedicated IP locations added to Surfshark. And I'm delighted to announce that as of today, Surfshark has expanded its list to 20 dedicated IP locations total after adding Turkey Istanbul, Poland Warsaw, US Las Vegas, and Brazil Sao Paulo to the list. Also, here's the full list of available dedicated IP locations you can get on Surfshark if you're curious. So hey, if you want to get a dedicated IP that will only be used by you and will help you get rid of CAPTCHAs and also help you access IP sensitive sites, do consider getting one. Now's the perfect time to do so. Speaking of perfect though, no VPN is perfect without being independently verified about the fact that they don't collect any data. Surfshark has just had its no-locks policy get verified yet again by Deloitte. And really, all that is 
just to say that yes, Surfshark doesn't collect nor monitor any of your activity when you use tools like Surfshark VPN. Being transparent about this is extremely important and that's why getting this verification from Deloitte is a really big win for Surfshark. I'll leave a link to the Surfshark blog page about this report if you want to read more about it in the description below. Surfshark's Refer a Friend program has also undergone a huge change. Now renamed to Refer and Earn, it will allow you to get additional months or even a monetary commission payout by simply inviting your friends to use Surfshark. We've already made a full video about this update, so make sure to check it out if you're interested. But TLDR, the whole program has been simplified and it's now easier than ever to invite your friends to try Surfshark and get rewarded for it. You can reach Refer and Earn via your Surfshark app in the settings, so definitely try it out and invite some friends to try Surfshark. Now, what if I told you that this next feature can be used completely for free and it will also help your online privacy and may even possibly improve your internet speed? That's right, Surfshark has released its own set of free to use public DNS that you can set up on any of your devices, be it a PC, a smartphone, or even a router that will cover your whole network. See, when you're on your browser and you type in a URL, for example, surfshark.com, your device sends a request to a DNS server to get an IP address address for that website because it needs a website IP to access that particular site. Usually DNS addresses are automatically set up and are predetermined by our internet service provider. These ISP provided DNSs are naturally not the most secure nor private. And another thing is that they can also be a lot slower. So by using ISP provided DNS addresses, you're allowing your ISP to see what websites you're visiting and they can even sometimes censor certain content from being accessed altogether. So for public DNS, addresses that issue. In addition, while less common, they can also prevent DNS spoofing attacks where a hacker could, in theory, redirect you to a fake website. Although again, that's fairly rare, but it's better to be safe than sorry. I'll leave a link below on how you can set up Surfshark DNS on your devices. So yeah, definitely go check it out. It should be as simple as going to your network settings and setting up these two sets of numbers for IPv4 and IPv6. Oh, and if you're wondering whether you should still use Surfshark DNS if you're, say, using Surfshark VPN, the answer is yes, because if you're not connected 24 seven to the VPN, then you still might be using your ISP DNSs whenever you're, well, not connected to the VPN. So it's just better to have them set up. Finally, let's talk about the Surfshark Digital Quality of Life Index for 2024. Uh, yes, it's already been like five months since 2024 has ended, but it's still important to acknowledge who topped last year's DQL rankings. Anyway, if you didn't know, every year Surfshark conducts a study where a team of researchers rank world countries country's digital quality of life based on several factors, like how affordable it is for citizens to get online. For instance, in some places like the US, mobile data per gigabyte might cost around three to five US dollars, while in countries like France, it could be as low as 20 cents per gigabyte. DQL also includes a category like internet quality that determines how fast and stable is the average internet connection. Besides that, there's electronic infrastructure, electronic security, and lastly, electronic electronic government, which all together show how digitally and future ready a country really is. Spoiler alert, the best country ranked by the overall DQL index was Germany, followed by Finland, France, the Netherlands, and Denmark. If you want more details and see where your country ranks, make sure to check the full list via the link in the description below. You know what's also a spoiler alert? The fact that this video is coming to an end. Uh, yeah, it's true. But seriously, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest Surfshark news, announcements, discussion, and all that jazz, including the latest updates. And if you missed the last Surfshark update video, I'll leave it right here so you can go ahead and check it out. But that'll be all for me. Take care and have a good one.